magic of the theater is it's a relationship that you have with the audience. You don't choose your audience. They turn up for all sorts of reasons, but then they are with you. And that connection or that dialogue is something which is irreplaceable. Theatre for me is magical because it casts illuminating insights into the human condition. It helps us make sense of this thing called life. So we're going to go for a, a little guided tour of the black history, the black history in London, because you might not see it, but it's actually thousands of years of the black presence in this country. I want to look for a guy called Ira Aldridge, the Shakespearean actor who came to England in 1824. Paul Robeson is part of the Negritude movement, who combined their art with their politics. Pearl Connor, she came to Britain during the 1960s and started what was an agency for Caribbean artists. When I came up in the mid-80s, riots were taking place all over Britain. So there was a political context to the writing, to the poetry. Theatre has always been used as a mechanism for change and influence. In certain countries, writers are feared. We question what's happening. For me, that's the best drama in theatre is when you question. In the modern era, where so much of our communication now is having to become virtual, there is nothing like a live dialogue. The reason I love the medium is because you can see that manifestation of whatever the playwright wants to create. It's there, it's living, it's flesh. You can almost touch, you can see them sweating, you can see the spit coming out of their mouth, and yet you can feel the passion. The beautiful thing about theater is that it's so fresh and so new, but it has connections to the ancient past. Throughout history, our voices have been marginalized, but our art has always been mainstream.